Good afternoon, Poggy Sports, and welcome to the first Series 14 video on the channel, but what feels like the thousandth Series 14 video on the channel because it's the exact same thing as Series 12. We've done this a bunch of times, um, and this time I decided to do something a little bit different. Now, what I am doing is, of course, I'm going to be running my two restricted. Those two restricted could be any Pokemon under the sun, but what I'm doing is I'm limiting myself to Pokemon that were confirmed in Scarlet and Violet as the other four slots. So we have here Gyarados, Rotom, Serena, and Sylveon, all of which were confirmed through trailers and other sources of official Pokemon media. So don't worry about getting spoiled when you're watching Series 14 now. I will not use any Pokemon that hasn't been confirmed by Nintendo yet. So if you guys want to remain spoiler free and for the, the, the rest of the returning Pokemon, go ahead and continue watching. You'll be fine. But if you don't want to be spoiler free, I made a tier list so you guys can check that out. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. I'm, I'm excited to use Gyarados. I feel like I'm going to call this the Gyarados team because I feel like Gyarados has always been a Pokemon that has done better with Dynamax, but because of Regieleki can't be good anymore. So it does kind of have that issue going for it. The team, I feel, has a decent way of dealing with Regieleki with, you know, the Serena and the Rotom Heat. Um, Dialga is a great Pokemon and gives me the option of saying Trick Room, which is kind of not a bad idea for this team because not all of the Pokemon are stupid fast. They're kind of kind of in an average speed tier. I also do have the Evil Tall in case I want to Dynamax Evil Tall and get some Airstreams going. Gyarados also has the option of Airstream. So that's kind of the idea I'm going with here. Serena is going to just protect me from Fake Out. You're going to see a lot in my Series 14 teams. We're going to see a lot of Serenas because simply that's just one of the better Pokemon that was revealed so far for Scarlet and Violet. Anyway, if you guys are excited to see the Gyarados in action, if you guys are excited to see Scarlet and Violet come out in less than two weeks, go ahead and hit the like button down below and subscribe to Pokesports if you haven't done so already. Let's get on to today's battles. Xerneas Evil Tall. That is not a combination that you see often. Granted, I'm running Gyarados, so. <laughs> Talk about weird ones. All right. Double Intimidate on their side of the field. Double Gen 6 Legendaries. An Ursh and a Fairy. Interesting. My Evil Tall is definitely not going to see a lot of play here simply because of that Xerneas. My Dialga also doesn't appreciate that Urshifu. Could bring my own Sylveon. No, I got Fairies too. Which in general wouldn't be too awful against this team. My Gyarados is not looking not looking like a great option though. Okay, definitely Dialga first, right? Dialga first because I need to break through the Fairy types. Specifically the, the, the Clefairy. I could also do like Serena with Taunt to stop any Geomancies. It's a rough, it's a rough option here. It's a rough decision. Because I could just go double fairy leads. Follow me and Geomancy. I'd be kind of screwed there. But I could actually go Dialga Sylveon lead. Bring my Gyarados in the back. Bring my Rotom in the back because that deals with both their Restricteds. And then just figure it out from there. I like that because it prepares me for the Xerneas Clefairy lead, which I think is the most likely lead for their team. Simply because I don't have Zacian. My opponent knows I don't have Zacian. They look at my team and they're like, oh, there's no Zacian. Let's go with the Xerneas. That's what I think, at least. The Evil Tall Fairy. Oh, that was, that was half right. Interesting. I didn't expect Evil Tall, but I'm happy about my leads now. Like, I could not be any happier about my leads than right about now. Awesome. This is perfect. This is ideal. Because I get to smack the evil tall with the fairy move now. Uh, do I bother trick rooming? No, because then the fairy goes first. I think I just go for the max deal spike onto the fairy. And then just go for this hyper voice. Just... Guns a blazing is all I got to do here. They're also Dynamaxing. Wow. I'm not too concerned about that. I mean, yeah, maybe a Trick Room would have been really good here. Because then, at the very least, I would have been able to do something about the fact that they're about to be raising their speed. But they could also go for the Max Darkness here. And that, that little hint of not knowing what's happening next is what scares me and what forces me to go for the Dynamax. Because I don't know what they're going to do next. I'm just assuming what they're going to do next, and that doesn't always go my way. All right, Dynamaxing or Dialga. Got two behemoths fighting each other on the field. I miss only having two Restricteds, by the way. It does feel a lot healthier and a lot nicer. 
<laughs> you know, my opponent's able to use Pokemon like Clefairy. I'm able to use Pokemon like Sylveon. It's a good time. They're going to Helping Hand boost something. If I'm lucky, they go into my Sylveon. Airstream, that's into Sylveon. That's fine because I'm Sash, Tom. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Doesn't even KO me. A max special attack modest with max speed and sashed on my Sylveon just because I needed a sashed Pokemon and I said, why not? And somehow my Dialga is still faster. Nice. Hopefully I can eliminate that. Perfect. That gets rid of Friend Guard. And this is now a single targeted Hyper Voice. Pixelite boosted, stab boosted Sylveon. I like this. I like this a lot. How much damage can we do here? Ooh, that could be a Salt Vest. That's not a solid list. That's a weakness policy. Oh, I'm in danger now. Yeah, that's bad. Wow. Let's see what they go into. Right? It does kind of depend on what they go into. I think no matter what I do, I have to fire attacks into that evil tall with my Dialga next turn. If they bring in Xerneas, I'm kind of pinned. Urshifu. Didn't expect that one. Um, I have a secret strat though. Yeah, he, I think I have to just go for the Wormwind onto the Evil Tall for sure. I could Helping Hand boost it, or I could Quick Attack the Urshifu, which will do a lot of damage to it. Because it's four times effective. I know I don't have like attack investment, but this is still four times effective, and it'll break any potential sash that the Urshifu has while simultaneously stopping their. Sucker Punch if they went for that, which they didn't. Hey, that's half health. I'll take that. They go for the Max Darkness. Wow. Yikes. That was a lot of damage. That was a lot, a lot more than I was expecting. I don't know how I win. I, I have to go Gyarados. I don't have an option. I might have at least scared Urshifu into protecting. At least I hope I did. Their Dynamax should also be over now. Oh no, they still have a turn, dude. Oh, I'm so sad. I'm really sad. Let's hope that we scared the Urshan to protecting. And let's hope they go for the Gyarados. And this Hyper Voice does a lot of damage. I, I don't know what else to do. Oh, they scared the Urshan to swapping out. That's good. That means they can only kill one Pokemon. It really depends on who they want to KO. The Lando, I'm terrified of. Because my Rotom doesn't do well against that. I'm White Herb, so that's nice. That means they might have gone for the Sylveon, which sucks. But what can I do about it, right? Max Darkness. Please be on to Gyarados. Nah, it's Sylveon. It has to be Sylveon. Or else they definitely die. Alright, fingers crossed, Stone Edge. Listen, 80% accuracy is still 80% accurate. Special Defense drop. Don't like it. Don't love it. Stone Edge. Goodness, this does not do damage. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. I have to make a read. And that read is that the Evil Tall wants to attack my Gyarados, especially now that it's on Stone Edge. So what I have to do is I have to click Protect with the Gyarados, hope that they miss a Rock Slide, and then just go for the T-Bolt onto the Evil Tall. Hope that's enough to knock it out. That's all I got right now. This Evil Tall is such a threat, man. That, that weakness policy. Oh, goodness. What am I supposed to do with the weakness policy? The good news is I know they didn't bring Xerneas. Which isn't even like great news. It doesn't make too much of a difference because I'm kind of relying on rock side misses at this point, but Rough game Tailwind You were already faster though. Hold on. Are they throwing? Sludge bomb. Oh, hold on. <laughs> it's not over yet There is a will and a way All right, there are Urshifu's half HP, right? They went for Sludge Bomb instead of Rock Slide. That means they don't have Rock Slide. Oh, I'm liking this. I'm liking where this is, what this is looking like. What it seems like is I have an upper hand. 
I technically have more HP than them right now, too. I'm not going to protect because they have Urshifu, so that defeats the purpose. I'm just going to overheat the Urshifu and Waterfall the Landorus. Wicked Blow. Something's taking a lot of damage. Nothing's dying, though. Yikes. Pretty darn close. Sludge Bomb. Perfect. They split it. Hold on. We have this. Connect moves. That KOs. Thank you. Rotom, I swear to God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Woo! That was literally my opponent throwing. Right? I should have lost that. I'm pretty sure I should have lost that. Hey, listen. Sometimes you win. Sometimes your opponent throws. Either way, I'm okay with it. GG's. Yo, that's a team, my guy. Talk about Trick Room. Tapu Bulu. You got some Alolans in there. I like that. Okay, Tapu Bulu and rocking with the Alolan Marowak. Evotal goes hard here, though. Evotal goes really hard. I'm going to have to find a way to stop the Trick Room or just, like, play in it. I do have a way to stop it, that being Dialga. I also have Taunt Serena, and I don't think they expect that. So I'm just going to go ahead, lead with Serena, lead with Evotal. Lead with double scary leads, especially for their side of the field. Bring the Gyarados in the back because it deals with a lot of Pokemon that they have. And then I think last but not least has to be like a Rotom. Or even Dialga. Dialga ain't bad. It's just the fact that Dialga hates the Groudon, but I'm, I'm bringing two Pokemon that have flying type. I have nothing on their team to resist Dragon either, except for the Bulu. So yeah, I think I can go Dialga. Okay, bring in Double Restricteds. Let's do it. We're going to bring the Double Restricteds. We're going to bring the Juice. Bring the Serena. I don't know what they're going to do. Clearly, it's a Trick Room. Uh, w with what and with whom and how they do it, none of my business. But the great thing about having Taunt and Serena is that Rage Powder doesn't work on me, and that's their only form of redirection on that team. So, I just got to Taunt. That's all I got to do is Taunt the Trick Room Setter and move on with my life. Click Airstream on something else. Okay, perfect. Not mad about this. We just taunt the Porygon. And click Airstream on the Groudon. Not even. I, I, I'm like considering just attacking the Porygon immediately. Dealing with the Groudon later. What are they tracing? Queenly Majesty. That's fine. Okay, good. I don't have any priority moves. But that that's a heck of a good trace, though. All right, let's just taunt the Porygon, Dynamax. Ooh, do we Dynamax this? Or do we just keep it, keep it, keep it little? We could just go for Falpa and Groudon. I kind of want to keep it little because I want to Dynamax my, my Gyarados. Okay, they're staying little too, so that's really good for us. Decent foul play damage. Oh, the Rocky Helmet? I guess I should have expected weird things. We're going to... Dodge the Stone Edge. That's really good. Rocky Helmet, Stone Edge, Groudon. Got it. And they try to Trick Room. Thankfully, not going to happen. Um, Cool. I'm going to go for Power Whip now. And I guess I'm just going to start Oblivion Wing on the Porygon 2. Just start chipping it down. The problem is Porygon 2 is going to have Recover. But thankfully, maybe it might switch because it just got taunted. So a Porygon 2 that's taunted really can't do much in terms of like damage output. So I'm not concerned. Okay. Not great, but it'll give me the health that I lost back. Stone Edge again. Does connect this time. Don't appreciate that, but I'm going to take it. See how much a power up can do to the Groudon. I'm happy nothing's Dynamaxing. And I'm also happy that almost KOs. They do have Ice Beam. I take that with the uh, Assault Vest, though. Ooh, that's not the one with the Assault Vest. Yikes. Okay. It crits me. And here I was saying Porygon 2 can't do damage. Not what I wanted. <laughs> it's not, definitely not the outcome that I wanted. All right. I'm going to attack the Porygon 2. And then just finish off this Groudon. Get rid of it. What's the point of keeping it on the field? Ground protects, fair enough. That's why I kind of rotated targets to the Porygon 2 anyway. I think they're trying to get rid of my Taunt Pokemon so that they can set Trick Room up. But we're both just kind of taking it slow. 
Decent damage there. Another ice beam. Back in this arena, right? Yeah. They're, they're getting rid of the taunt Pokemon. It's fair. Here's the thing now. I go in with the... I go in with my Dialga. And I Dynamax now. Now Dialga is going to... Is going to pop a couple caps into this Porygon. Which is nice. Do a lot of damage to the Porygon. I did lose this arena. In the, in, you know, in the wake of things, but... Hopefully it doesn't mean too much. I'm going to go for the Wormwind because that's my highest damage output. And I really don't think they swap into Bulu. I hope. I really hope. There's also no way that they Dynamax the Grout on here. Yeah, I'm going to be the one clicking Dynamax kind of preemptively. Which means they're going to get an extra turn at Dynamax unless I do something about it. But we'll just see how much damage we can actually do here to the Porygon too. The thing is, like, they're successfully, like, slowing me out and slowing, and slowing me down. If I get a double KO here, though, I think it's all worth it. Because that means they're down to their final two, and I still have three Mons left. I know that one of their two final Mons has to be their Dynamax. All right, Groudon's gone. That's one down. Gonna get a little bit of health back with a Believing Wing. That's always nice. And my Dialga's not actually meant to be, like, a Trick Room Dialga. So, yeah. This is just gonna be a lot of damage onto Porygon. Enough to knock it out. Beautiful! I do think that I needed to do a Wormwind there and not a Flash Cannon. Because I think the difference is 20 BP, which, you know, might have had that Porygon living at 1 HP. Thankfully, never recovered. Granted, I taunted it, so that was the first turn that it would have been able to recover. Noga? Okay. We got a Noga and a Hatasa. Intrastasa. Got it. I think Wormwind is always my best option. I think doubling into... Okay, I think I win. Because all I have to do is double into the Amoongus, right? Even if they Rage Powder, I hope they Rage Powder. That'll actually be good for me. Because I'd much rather have them Rage Powder than have them Spore. And if I double into the Marowak, and they, and they spore me, that's how they get the advantage. Because, like, say they protect Marowak and then try to get that spore off, then Marowak has a free shot onto my side of the field. I don't want any of the shots on my side of the field to be free, so I want to double into this Amoongus. Please don't protect. Rage Powder, perfect. They were going to do it anyway. But this this way I'm covered for Max Guard from the Marowak, too. Oblivion Wing should do a bunch of damage. And this also simultaneously does good for me because I'm also going for Max Worm Winds onto the Amoongus, which lowers the attack of the Marowak next to it. Yeah, Dialga's putting in some work, baby. And now, if I go in, I say if like I'm not going to go in. When I go into Gyarados, it's also a negative one onto the Marowak. Essentially knocking off its thick club at that point. Problem is, it's still going to do a lot of damage with like a fire move, but it's not going for a fire move. Going for the Quake. Yeah, we eat this. Does a lot, but Dialga. Does a lot, but Dialga. The special defense raise isn't ideal. I'm glad that the sun is gone. I could go for a sucker. Actually, I have no reason to go into Gyarados, right? I could just Wormwind and Sucker. And call it a day. I don't even have to Sucker. I could have foul played. It's fine. It doesn't actually matter. It just matters that I chip it a little bit. Could have even snarled. I'm not a very offensive evil tall. That's why I kind of don't want to Dynamax it sometimes. That's why I didn't want to Dynamax it turn one. Game one, I'd much rather have the Dialga as a Dynamax. All right, Marowak, what you got left? Sucker Punch. That's a lot of damage. Followed by the Wormwind. I think that should be it, right? Yeah, Dialga's just Dialga, dude. We didn't even need Gyarados here, man. Gyarados was a great cheerleader in this game. It was a great cheerleader. 10 out of 10. <laughs> okay, I'm actually surprised the team is doing this well so far. Currently 2-0. You know, that's not bad at all. Oh, this team is terrifying for Gyarados, dude. Oh, no. What do I do? Okay, I need to bring Trick Room. I, I have no option but to bring, bring Trick Room. Because, like, they have the Regilucky and the Tailwind and the Ogre. 
So like I can't even bring Rotom as a way to deal with Regilecki. It's it's <laughs> I'm pretty pinned here. They thankfully don't have any form of Trick Room, which is nice. I might just go Dialga Sylveon. Do I even want to bring the Gyarados? I mean, Gyarados is nice, but only if I can get a Dynamax and get rid of that Regilecki. ASAP. Yeah, I'm going Sylveon, Dialga, Serena, Gyarados. And I'm praying, dude. That, that, that's all I got here. I'm praying afterwards. Regilecki is a little bit of a problem for Gyarados, man. It's, it's partially, if not the only reason Gyarados isn't really used too much anymore. It was used in like series one and two, but nowadays it's not, it doesn't see a lot of usage. Crown Tundra Pants, wow. Calyrex and Top Layla is gonna be the leader choice though. I'm fine with that, right? I mean, I'm sure this is gonna hurt like a ton. But I could Trick Room. Or I could Dynamax double into them and take them out. They're probably Scarfed here. Which is why I think... Um, yeah, they're probably Scarfed on Lele, right? That's why I think maybe Trick Rooming isn't the best option. I should instead just go for... A Quake onto the Kali to lower its attack. Or to lower its, um... To break its Sash. And lower its attack. Because I'm raising my special defense. The issue is, I don't really know what else to do. I think I'm mindlessly just going to go for Hyper Voice. And hope that I'm able to live to see the end of the turn. That's a rough one. It's definitely a rough turn. Do I think a double expanding force is going to knock out my Dynamax Dalga? No. Do I think it's going to knock out my Sylveon? Yeah. Sadly, yeah. This team is super HO. It's super hyper offensive. Fling! Well, that's new! I think I'm still gonna live though. Yeah, okay. Sure. Well, I hate to break it to you, Tom. The plan didn't work the way that you calculated it. But I'm fine with that because now you don't have an item on your Lele. And you just lost the thing that you weakness policy boost and gave the scarf to. I'm confused. But fine. Hey, if you want to try some things, I'm glad you tried them. Also, plus one special defense is going to help us out a lot. I can't go for quick attack, unfortunately. Whimsicott means nothing to me. Um, all I really got to do is steel spike, finish off the Lele. I could help a hand, doesn't make a difference though. Keeping the Sylveon. Uh, might as well keep it on the field, right? What if I just steel spike the whim? I mean, it doesn't actually matter who I steel spike. I'm just gonna have to steel spike somebody. I'm gonna helping hand in case the Lele has protect for some reason, but I doubt it. It'd be wild if it protected. Okay, yeah, there's just there's just the tailwind. I should still take an attack here. They're going for the moonblast onto my Sylveon. That's fair. It'll knock it out. It's part of the reason why I went for the helping hand boost, just so I could do something this turn. It also does cover me for a potential swap out of that spot. But hey, I'll take out a Lele for free. Now keep in mind they do still have a Dynamax. They still have a sash on the whim. They are in, still in tailwind. So I'm not out of I'm not out of the clear yet, you know. I do hope their last is physical. Oh, it's ogre. Right? I'm bringing Serena. I think it's ogre. I 
A lackey. All right. I still have one more turn of Dynamax. And I just have one move on the Alecky, and that's Quake. And I think I'm just going to go for the Triple Axel onto the Whimsicott. Now, does the Alecky have the, the Sash? Does the Whimsicott? I'm pretty sure the Whimsicott does. Here's the thing. If they... I think I could take an Alecky hit, especially at plus one special defense. I don't know if I can take an Alecky hit plus a Moonblast, but I think I can. Because the Alecky's going to Dynamax here, right? Oh, Fastball. Heck, creative. <laughs> The fastball Reggie Lucky. You guys get it? Because it's fast. I don't know why I'm salty. All right, big a Lucky. My Gyarados is not going to get a chance to do much. My poor Gyarados. We'll see where this game goes. Guards. Makes sense, man. Makes absolute sense. Not even mad. Just trying to chip down my Dialga as much as possible. I go for the Quake. Doesn't matter. My Triple Axle should knock out this uh, Whimsicott if all... Axles connect. Wide lens save me. Nice. No! So dumb. Is that like max HP there? Like, what is that? Nonsense. Listen, I gotta try. I'm wondering what to do now. Because they, they definitely have Airstream, right? Oh, maybe not. Because this might be like... Uh, I don't have a better choice, Dynamax. I could protect. But I feel like that's a wasted turn. I'm going to go for Power Whip on the Lucky. Just in case the Sash is there. Darkness. Okay. I eat that. I don't think I eat a Darkness plus Moonblast, though. But right now, what they're showing me is that they don't have Airstream. Which is all I need to know. Yeah, they definitely knock on my Dialga there. Fair. And get some Power Whip damage. Talk about damage! Give me that crit, baby! All right. Good. Gyarados, I'm so sorry to put you in this situation. <laughs> Gyarados does not want to be alive right now. <laughs> Will I live? Oh, there's a chance it's a physical lucky, right? <laughs> Will I live? Should I bother protecting? Like, what's the point? I should just throw every attack into that spot and hope one of it, one of them connects, right? That's all I should do. They just go for lightning. Maybe I should have protected. <laughs> But here's the thing. I, if I connect, knock out the Aleki, and I'm pretty sure I could fight a Whimsicott on my own, right? I am negative defense, or negative special defense on my Serena, but, like, naturally, Serena's kind of tanky, and I'm also kind of tanky, you know? Like, I, I EV'd to be tanky. 2 KO, 2 KO. Nice, easy. Come on, connect. I can't believe I'm about to beat an Aleki with a Gyarados. Yeah, Gyarados didn't do anything, but I'm still winning. <laughs> Gyarados was a body. Tailwind Peters, go ahead, set it back up. Uh, what's my highest damn, my highest hit rate? Okay, my highest hit rate is Triple Axel with the wide lens. That is my highest hit rate. They go for the Moonblast again, hoping for the crits. No crits today, baby. Special attack drop doesn't matter. If I miss, I lose. Yeah, that is what we're talking about, folks. Triple wins using Scarlet and Violet returning Pokemon plus a Dialga and the Evil Tall. That's what I like to see. And here you have the rental code if you guys want to go ahead and hop on the ladder with this Gyarados team. Now, Series 14 just started. It's the last series that we're going to experience the Sword Shield, so why not have a little bit of fun? Why not use Pokemon that you're going to be seeing in Scarlet and Violet anyway? Kind of get used to the way they play. And I try to make these teams as competitive as possible, right? Um, of course, I did make a tier list of returning Pokemon. Of course, don't watch that unless you want spoilers. Uh, but in that tier list, I'm using a lot of A tier and B and uh, S tier Pokemon uh, currently on this team. So it's actually nice seeing them in practice and seeing them in a situation where they can shine. 
just to kind of prove my sentiments from earlier. Anyway, that's the rental code. I'm Kevin. This is Spooky Sports. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great night and peace out. Bye-bye.